sir i earn a lot of money but i can't save anything <laughs> does it happen to you or to anybody or has anybody asked you or did you ask yourself or did you ask somebody sometime somewhere someday that how should you reduce your expenses or rather how should you considerably reduce your expenditure or rather expenses right <laughs> the very commonly asked question there's a lot of money coming in but nothing stays it comes and it's all gone my god it's like the river ganges <laughs> comes and goes right so therefore today is a very interesting topic because uh, many people uh, if you look back are uh, 20 years uh um, 30 years down the line our parents uh, and our grandparents they the amount of money which they had uh through their business or their uh, salary or freelancing or self employed work was much less but uh, they had considerably very high amount of savings compared to us right Now, of course you can go into all this you know inflation adjusted or disparity or any kind of comparisons within different countries regions religions genders or whatever you wish but the fact of the matter is that this generation our generation is not able to save that much money Okay, so why this is happening, and what should you do regarding this? Right, so that's exactly what we are going to discuss today. And if, and as usual, if you are new to the channel, then uh, please subscribe to it down below. Uh, and if you want a consultation from me regarding your expenses or your income or any other area of your life, then you can always go down to my description uh, to the description section. You will find my website down there. And yes, God is there with you. He will help you save more money. so just look to him and you will find him so now uh, what's what is going on with income the income uh, if you see uh, the income of every person is rising of course there's a lot of poverty also in this world but but in general when you perceive people so many people are coming out from the villages to the metros uh, sorry villages to towns then from towns they are coming to the metros and from developing countries they are going to developed countries and from developed countries maybe they are going to different planets <laughs> but there is something which is constant which is there is a big disparity in your income and your savings right so why this is happening because we are doing a lot of unnecessary expenditure in the name of needs actually okay so for example uh there are many things that we want but we don't need it actually right and we try to say oh actually these are our needs you know it's like basic needs kya kare roti kapda makan everybody needs it right the thing is um, there's a very thin line uh, which you could uh, put which can you know separate your needs and wants okay so therefore you really need to have a reality check on the things that you think that you need but maybe that's something which you want but that's not something which you actually need right so for example a uh, mobile phone right so now the new iphone 13 has been launched right so which uh, which mobile do you have let me know down in the comments the thing is many times people are searching every year they are buying the new iphone well i also have an iphone this is a fantastic product right uh, but the thing is this is not purchased by me this is my company's iphone like media mart saturn it's written there so when i had joined the company i got this phone and uh, uh, to to use it for my official purposes and i have very less contact numbers here and i have a very few people with whom i connect to you know so i i use this phone just as a phone right but of course as usage it's fantastic but the question is if this was not my phone my uh, office phone would i still buy this iphone well definitely not 
because there are so many things in this iPhone which is also there in so many other mobiles, right? Now, I'm not denigrating or downgrading iPhone. It's a fantastic product, no doubt about it, right? But the thing is, if we are uh, in the initial days of our career, right? At least if you are in our, if you are in your 20s or even maybe 30s, having an iPhone is not something which um which is very easy for us right even if you are working in us or you are staying here in germany or you are working in india right unless you are in that you know 0.11111% <laughs> cream it's not going to be very easy right you might have to take a emi or you, know, you might have to borrow money from your parents or family members or relatives right so the thing is you really have to ask yourself that the things that I have, those which I claim to be uh, my needs, can they be fulfilled by something else which is much more cheaper? Okay, so then we should always opt for that. Uh, okay, but the thing is, you may say, "Oh, it's easier said than done," but we can't do it. Why can't we do it? Right? And this is because uh, in the materialistic society. Uh, we have artificially put our happiness in all these uh, digital uh, things or you know, expensive uh, eating, eating out in the hotels or you know, expensive travel, traveling in first class, business class or you know, staying in expensive hotels, right? Uh, so therefore, what is happening is there are two problems. One is our anxiety is increasing because we are not able to save money, right? So we know that there are no savings. And then there's another anxiety. Because of this, it's like a double anxiety that first I do not have savings. So then now I have to work more. So from 12 hours, I'll work 14 hours, 15 hours, 16 hours, right? Or maybe staying in expensive homes, right? Taking big loans, having big fancy cars, right? Having big fancy gadgets, Okay. So therefore, you really need to uh, understand that these, these gadgets or anything materialistic, they can give you pleasure to a certain extent. They can. I'm not denying. I'm not saying, oh, all materialistic pleasure is an illusion. I'm not saying all this nonsense. Very clear with this. Materialistic things make us happy to some extent or maybe to a large extent. Let's agree that that's a fact. That's how the material world is designed at the end of the day, right? See, the, the thing is my Shiksha Guru you, used to say that there is that much pleasure in this material world that you don't want to leave it. But not that level of pleasure also that you should stay. <laughs> yes. That's like that tinge of pleasure is there which doesn't now impel you to leave this world, but that's so less that you can't even stay happily. Okay, so therefore we have artificially put our happiness in all these. Why? 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 Because we have lost our connection to God. Because of that, what's happening is we are not able to experience higher happiness, higher pleasure, higher bliss. Ananda Mayo Bhyasat, as the Vedanta Sutra says, right? Um, right? The absolute truth is the source of all pleasure. That is what uh, is the meaning of the word Ram. Right? The word Rama means the source of all pleasure. Right? So therefore, the more you connect with God, the more your dependency on these materialistic objects will reduce. So then what will happen is you will use them but you won't be addicted to them and you will uh, only use them and you will only purchase things which you actually deep down inside, you know that these are things which I really need, right? These are not things which I actually want, right? So for example, um, it, it can be anything, right? It's like from your nail cutter to your toothbrush, to your mobile, to your laptop, anything and everything, okay? Now, that depends on everybody. 
what kind of uh, what kind of things you should have what kind of things you should not have it depends on your family or depends on your upbringing so the definition of simplicity is different for everybody okay now which means if a person is born in a family where it's like a millionaire or a billionaire family then the standard of simplicity for that person will be different compared to a middle class person or compared to a upper middle class or compared to a you know, person who is a lower middle class or po- is in poverty right because they have been uh, brought up in different uh, situations different uh, they they have followed different standards since the time they are born like for example i know uh, one lady she is uh, very rich uh, uh, she is born she ha- she took birth in a very rich family it's like uh, crorepatis as you say in india like millionaires or maybe billionaires and she is very spiritual very uh, very enlightened and she earns a lot of money and whenever she travels you know she uh, she travels in business class right uh, but the thing is since the time she was born she's she has been traveling in business class right so uh, then for her business class is not like any luxury it's like basic bare minimum it's like oh what's business class you know but for <clears throat> for a normal person like you or me i mean business class may be something which we would dream to travel in right i i have never traveled in a business class i mean uh, i i traveled once but i didn't travel myself because there was a problem with the flight they changed the flight and there were no seats in the economy so then they gave me a business class <laughs> but for this lady uh, traveling in business class is just like a it's something very basic right so now if for this lady traveling in first class maybe which is even more expensive that could be something which uh, is something in the zone of uh, unnecessary uh, expenditure okay so these are just examples by which you can know uh, by which you can get an idea right so therefore you have to understand that i need to do the expenditure which is required and if you don't do that you will un- you will be unhappy right and you you need to understand that if you are making if you are buying something which is very expensive then you really have to maintain it properly so that you don't have to waste money and you know buy the same thing again later right so for example this uh, this laptop that i have this is a very expensive laptop this uh, this laptop uh, was uh, maybe one of the most expensive laptops when i purchased it way back in 2014 january february march around that time but uh, this laptop had fulfilled all my requirements right which i had at that time and it's 2017 september uh, 2021 september now right so imagine 2014 15 16 17 18 19 20 almost <laughs> we are uh, like quite down in 2021 also like so 6 7 years i have been using this laptop and i'm very cautious about it very 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 cautious right so till now the laptop is working quite well there's a problem with this uh, the left speaker but it's all fine and the battery is a bit uh, it's like pretty obvious but overall it's as if it is new okay because this so much money i had invested in buying this and now uh, since last 4 years i am making videos with this same uh, same laptop because i knew that this is a very important investment so when when you know that you have to make certain investments then we, which will actually give you of uh, better returns in the long run to make your life better then you need to make those decisions right so when i had taken this laptop uh, many people had told me that you are just wasting money or you know you, but uh, then i said no this is not for my luxury but this is for my needs i know what are my requirements and which laptop is suited for that right because i was always into you know video editing and um, big uh, big work related to it and video making of course after youtube so imagine doing this uh, daily right and so much video editing content and all this and i was 
very confident that this laptop will do all the things and it's doing it so beautifully, right? All the work. But this is something which uh, is actually like a need. No, it's not like that I want to take some fancy laptop. And even now, uh, sometimes when I see, I see, I feel, oh, maybe this laptop is very nice. That laptop is very nice. But then I ask myself, can I still do that with this laptop? If the answer is yes, then I'm not buying it. <laughs> yes, one day if this laptop is not working and then I try to repair it, but then if that is costing me more, then yes, of course, I will be buying a new laptop, right? But uh, it's almost six, seven years. I, I don't know when the day will come. I hope not very soon. <laughs> right? So, therefore, uh, first is you have to have a reality check. Do I really need it? Or is it something like a luxury, right? Which I think I need, but deep down inside, I know that I don't need it, but I just want it, right? And secondly, you have to introspect. Why at all are you getting driven to all these, right? Beyond a certain extent, right? Uh, for example, if um, you are to, you like to travel, then it's fine, nothing wrong with traveling. Uh, or um, you, you, you like gadgets, it's fine, no problem with it. Or you love to eat outside, it's okay. But the thing is, if that is like the only way by which you gain happiness, then yeah that that's a big problem because then you'll be spending more and more and more and more and more okay so therefore you have to really understand that all these materialistic things can make me happy only to a certain extent but not beyond that so beyond that we have to do spiritual practices we have to chant mantras read the bhagavad gita Srimad bhagavatam associated associate with like-minded spiritual people in the weekends and uh, visit holy places, holy dhams, and uh, take darshan of God and enlighten ourselves spiritually. Only then we will be able to stay happy in the long run. Okay, And then if uh, we get something good materially, we accept it as a part of our karma. Or if it's taken away from us, we still accept that as a part of our karma. Right? So then you... If you are spiritually elevated, then you will own these things, but they will not own you. And if you are not elevated spiritually, then you may think that you own these, but they will own you, right? So uh, invest in something which will make your life better in the long run, right? But make sure uh, you see all the options and uh, you, you are really uh, confident about it. Right? When you are making uh, lofty investments like I made regarding this laptop. And of course, you have to understand that whatever is required, I will do it. But beyond a certain extent, these things cannot make me happy. All right? So do whatever is required. Do what is necessary. But then don't make these things the goal of your life. The goal should be focused on spiritual elevation. So... When you do that, then all these things are like additions, right? Okay, you have a good mobile, that's great. You have a good laptop, that's great. You have a good car, it's nice, right? But what if you don't have them tomorrow? Will you be miserable? Will you go and die? Will you commit suicide? Will you be in depression? Or will you go and hurt others? Not, not necessarily, right? Because you know that my goal is fixed and I'm enjoying the process of spiritual elevation. And then if these things are there, life is good. But life is still good without them, right? <laughs> All right. So therefore, please be mindful of your choices uh, regarding your uh, materialistic gadgets or your materialistic expenses. And by that, uh, have a schedule, get up early in the morning, chant mantras, do spiritual practices, meet good people. And only by that you can actually minimize your expenses okay, and maximize your savings. Right? Thank you very much for your patience. And if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below. And if you want a consultation from me, you can always go to my website down below. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you'll find him.